Exponential function, applying the loss, part eight. So in this question, we see something strange, like the zeros and a negative. So immediately what comes into my mind would be a zero equals to one or anything. In fact, this can be anything to the power of zero is one. And then we have a negative n would give us one over a n. So anything with a negative, I would have to go one over. So now a to the zero, I just kind of demonstrated one. Three or anything to the power of zero is the one. And for question three here, we have a negative. So we just have to put whatever that we see in the denominator. Same thing, doesn't matter if it is not a number, sorry, if it is not a variable, if it is a number, same thing. Put it everything, one over it. Here is the DOYO and good luck. <laughs>